Okay, three steps to becoming a full-time artist from... A full-time artist. Step uno. You gotta have a work schedule. I know. But you actually do. You have to have a work schedule. If you don't get shit done, it ain't gonna happen. My rule of thumb is at least four hours a day. If you want to become a full-time artist. If you want to play around with it, then don't do four hours a day. Bam. Step dos. You gotta list your artwork in places where people actually buy art. Now, I know a lot of people say, Jose, but I list my artwork on TikTok and people do buy it. Yes, but people are not really here to buy art. Or are they? No, the reality is that more likely people will be buying art on a place like Sachi Art or Etsy and places like that. There's got to be two requirements for such a place. It must have a register, you know, a place where people can swipe that card. And it must have existing traffic. So no, that's not your website and that's not Instagram. While your website can have a register, it probably doesn't have traffic. While Instagram has traffic, it doesn't have a register. You need both. Step numero tres. You gotta build audiences. And no, I didn't say an audience because people usually try to rely on one source of traffic, meaning like uh, TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. Bro, Facebook's still around. And places like that. So don't rely on one. Chances are you're not going to get your 10 million followers from one, probably, unless you're like a superstar or something. Uh, you're going to get little pockets of people. And those little pockets of people from different platforms add up. And that's why you want to build audiences. Put content, silly content. I don't know, stuff about your artwork. Things you know, such as your painting process or studio tour or...